What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 9 of my 31 days of Halloween and I'm pretty excited for you guys to see this tutorial. So as you've seen from yesterday's video, I showed you guys how to make fake scars and fake bullet wounds. So I'm not showing you today how to create this, so if you are interested in recreating this tutorial then please see yesterday's video for the bullet wound which will be linked below for you. I will also link the playlist for my 31 days of Halloween videos in case you want to catch up on any of the ones that you've missed. So. For this tutorial, I'm showing you how to create this cadaver look and I'm showing you my little costume here. I feel really, really cute in this. Maybe I should be a soldier, like, I feel pretty cute in this little uniform. I mean, look how adorable it is. So yeah, I feel like I'd make maybe a cute soldier, but I also would be a terrible soldier. I'm so physically unfit. <laughs> um, I haven't dyed my hair. This is a wig. As you can probably tell, oh, you can because my hair is peeking through, but I just thought that my hair distracted from the look. So I'm going to stop talking and let's get on with the tutorial. So I've already moisturised and primed, so we're going to go straight in with foundation. So the key for this look, as it's a corpse look, is to take whatever your usual foundation is and add a couple of drops of white to it, just to lighten it slightly as, um, you know, you lose colour when you die, basically you're not going to be the same bright perky self as normal. So I'm taking my normal foundation, which is a Kat Von D Lock It in L42, and I'm going to be adding in some Illamasqua Skin Base, um, as it is a white, and I'm mixing those together, and then I'm going to be applying that with my Beauty Blender. This isn't, um, you don't need loads and loads of coverage for this look, this just happens to be a full coverage foundation, but, you know, when you're dead, you're not trying to impress anyone. I don't know. Maybe you are, who knows? Now, instead of using a normal cream contour product, I'm going to be contouring using a grey face paint um, because I just want to make my body look a bit more hollow and a bit more spooky. setting that using a um, translucent powder okay, so next I'm going to just be going over that contour again um, but using a powder product and I'm just taking a grey this is Kat Von D's grey from the shade and light quad in smoke adding some bruising to the face using a Morphe 35S palette um, so I'm just going to be creating some bruises around the mouth area on the cheek and just you can create these wherever you want that is the good part about this so again I'm going to be taking that same grey shade and mapping out where I want my bruising to be make sure you use a fluffy brush for this because the more blended it is the better Bruising, this bruising to look old so the older the bruises are the more kind of greens and yellow tones you have but just to build a nice base I'm going to be adding a little bit of a blue so I'm going to be taking this darker blue here but only really lightly okay, now I'm going in with a green shade and I'm going to be taking this light green shade here and again, you only want a slight bit of colour and it's all about the blending. And I'm taking a yellow shade and I'm taking this shade here. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more of that grey colour and I'm going to be adding it under my eyes just to make myself seem more dead. Adding a little bit over the other eye too, just because it seems too <laughs> awake. So that's pretty much it for the makeup. I'm gonna add my costume and I'll be right back. Okay, 
so I'm back with my costume and I just popped on this black wig because my green hair like really distracted from the rest of the costume and it didn't match the green of the costume so I just popped that on just so you can kind of appreciate the full thing so as you can see I've got this um, like green soldiers uniform um, I bought this from the place I work at, so just a local fancy dress shop, so I'm sure you can find something similar to this um, in any fancy dress shop really, and I like the little hat that it comes with, I think it's kind of cute. Um, so we've got the gunshot to the head, we've got the bruising, so we are a poor little cadaver. So sad. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed filming this look. Um, this is a look that I did last year for um, both a pub crawl and Halloween at work. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with this look. I don't know what else to say other than I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Again, if you do try this look out, please tag me. I'd love to see it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my...